I used to be really self-conscious of people watching me eat. Good morning guys! Today I'll be doing a what I eat in a day but trying to eat more inflammatory foods. I was editing this and I meant to say anti-inflammatory foods. Okay, back to the video. The reason being is because I just got a call from my doctor and I don't know if a lot of you know but I strained my wrist about six months ago rock climbing. Not an intense rock climber, went for like the third time, was getting into it and then strained my wrist. And then Kali, I was using a retractable leash and then she started chasing after another dog. I let go of the retractable leash, kind of like twisted my wrist. And now I strained my tendon. So he said it was inflamed and there's not really one thing I could do to fully make it recover. It'll just take a lot of time. It'll take exercise and eating healthy. I don't have a whole lot of knowledge about inflammatory foods, so I'm just gonna see what I have in the fridge and go from there. I know spinach is good, salmon, lots of fruits. I think this morning I'm going to make a oatmeal bowl with apples, because I have lots of apples, and maybe a banana smoothie. Let's eat breakfast. Apples taste better when you put them in the fridge. I have these bananas. They're getting very ripe, so I'm gonna try and use them up. I will make a banana smoothie and maybe use the rest for a little dessert. I've seen people do the Korean strawberry milkshake. I don't have strawberries, so I'm gonna try it with bananas, but obviously without sugar because these are probably really sweet already. Actually, I'm just gonna blend it and then add oat milk on top because I'm lazy to make the strawberry or banana sauce. It goes well with the almond butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good smoothie. I got this recipe off TikTok and I will be making this again. It's really good. So I'm gonna make a pesto sandwich with leftover chicken that I had yesterday. I'm gonna shred it and then place it onto here to bake. Maybe a knife would have been easier. 
but I'm already doing it with two forks, so must keep going. Now I'm gonna put all the chicken onto this pan. This is a lot of chicken for my one sandwich. So I'm gonna save some for tomorrow's meal or maybe tonight's meal. I'm gonna add my cherry tomatoes, douse it in olive oil. Usually I would season it with salt and pepper but I'm just gonna use Italian seasoning and the pesto will give the sandwich a lot of flavor. And then toss this in the oven. Oh my gosh, I forgot the most important part to a sandwich. I forgot to toast the bread. Okay, it's not too late. I just put it in the oven. Okay, uh, let me put a little bit of olive oil. A lemon honey water with chia seeds. Lemon, honey, chia seeds, chia This is so full. Ah. One, two, three. Ah, it fell apart. Okay, I might just have to eat the chicken on the side and take an avocado out. <laughs> I forgot my spinach. I'm just gonna put a little bit inside because this is a lot of spinach that I washed. Okay. There we go. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this. Okay. I didn't expect the sandwich to be this tall. I have my honey garlic potatoes that I made yesterday and I'm just gonna finish them. Where do I start? Okay, I'm just gonna eat a chicken first. The ones that didn't make it into the sandwich. Mmm. Mm. This avocado is falling out. I'm just gonna take it off. Cheers. I used to be really self-conscious of people watching me eat or the last one to finish eating because then people would just like 
maybe stare at you. They're probably not staring at you. I'm just an overthinker. But I'm sometimes I'm still self-conscious because I am a slow eater and I don't want to be the last one. And I hate it when people look at me when I eat. But I'm slowly overcoming that. Hmm. I'm scared of people thinking that I eat weird or have food on my face or something in my teeth. I'm still trying to get over it and say like, oh, it doesn't matter. Who cares? People are just eating to enjoy. Oh my gosh, everything's falling. So yeah, I have to tell myself that whenever I decide not to get a burger or something messy just because I don't want people thinking like oh gross so messy like food is all over your face probably not thinking that but yeah mm. I'm a really slow eater. I don't think you guys want to like see me eat for like an hour. I'm gonna finish this while watching a K-drama. Really good lunch. I'm off to the grocery store. So I have a lot of cucumbers and I want to make cucumber kimchi on the side with my salmon avocado bowl that I'll be having for dinner. I'm missing rice vinegar and I'm gonna go get that. Off to the grocery store. it was in the Asian section. There was labels and it said vinegar section. And I went in and it wasn't there. And then I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll go to the Asian section. I went there and I found it. Rice vinegar. For tonight's dinner, I will be making a salmon avocado Greek goddess bowl. Earlier I said I was gonna make a salmon avocado rice bowl, but I have leftover cabbage and Greek goddess sauce. So I'm just gonna replace the rice with the Greek goddess salad and I'm sure it'll taste just as good. Okay, time for dinner. And I'm making the cucumber kimchi on the side. I didn't get this rice vinegar for nothing. relaxing cooking video that I imagined this to be. Mm. 
might have added too much vinegar. I'm gonna eat this tomorrow because I'm supposed to refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes. Or if I want it to taste even better, to leave it overnight. But this was really cool to make. I always find it sad when people take a huge salmon and then destroy it. But here I am doing it. You know, honestly, I could have just put this whole salmon on top of my Greek goddess salad, but <laughs> it's a little too late for that. It would have looked a lot prettier with the full salmon on top. So the avocados were supposed to go on top to make it look pretty. I think I just do not function well cooking at night. How do I make this look nice? This is not looking nice. Gonna mix it first. I made a little too much, but I could have it tomorrow. Leftovers are always good. First bite. That's it for today's video and I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Let me know if you want me to make more of these videos and please like and subscribe. Bye guys!